right guys, today's topic is color correcting for shadows and of course we're using Adobe Creative Cloud Lightroom and really what we're trying to look at here is you see the notice the images we've got a raw image just on import um, we've got a basic color correction applied and now when you look into the shadow tones you see that they actually have this blue color and that's because shadows contain pretty much um, a lack of color and so as you correct color, shadows can actually change and they can become warmer or cooler. The first way that we actually get this and narrow in on this particular color of the shadow is to use a tool that people don't use. And that's the hue, saturation, and lightness tool, mainly because it looks a little intimidating. But if you notice, I come over here and drag my uh, blue scale. I can actually knock all of the blue out of the shadow by turning the luminosity or the luminance up. Now when I do so, look how it changes the actual color of the sky. And of course I used a polarizing filter, so I've got a, a nice um, kind of arching vignette look that goes across the top, which is something that's a, uh, commonplace with um, those types of filters. But you'll notice here now that once I use that, uh, that technique of the luminosity, I lose all that color. So in order to bring it back, I just get a saturation brush, and I go ahead and begin making my adjustment. It automatically creates a mask, and I'm going to paint the sky back in. See, the blue information is still there, it's just I've turned it off using the luminosity scale under the hue, saturation, and lightness um, sliders. So now that I've gone ahead and painted my mask back in, you can actually see that I'm bringing the color back out, but I don't want it to become too apparent. So you've got to find that nice little happy medium between your blue sky uh, and no color, well, color that you've gotten rid of. And actually from there, I'm, I'm changing my opacity and I've gone ahead and I've adjusted the, uh, the, the actual tones of the, the lightness and the shadows and everything of the sky as well using that adjustment brush. So let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, as we go ahead and look forward right now, we've got our initial raw photo. We come over here and we look at our first color correction that we've got. And now we come back up here and we look at our final color correction using the luminosity tool, or luminance tool, and a gradient brush. Guys, I hope you find this interesting and helpful. Cheers. Cheers.